Special thanks to all our patrons who support the show every single week. We couldn't do it without you. Head over to patreon.com slash run, eat, drink podcast and subscribe today for bonus content, exclusive happy hour live chats and more. Patrons, you help keep the run, eat, drink podcast going. And we're so grateful for you. Not a patron yet? Join us today at patreon.com slash run, eat, drink podcast. Help support the show by using our Amazon affiliate link. Anytime you shop on Amazon for running gear, food, beverages, or anything else the little gray trucks might bring your way. Just use runeatdrink.net slash Amazon anytime you shop. It costs nothing extra. It's only one extra click, and it helps us keep the lights on and the bandwidth flowing. Just go to runeatdrink.net slash Amazon, and we thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Donna Deegan, Chief Eternal Optimist of the Donna Foundation and founder of Donna Marathon Weekend. You're listening to the Run, Eat, Drink podcast. Welcome to the Run, Eat, Drink podcast. We feature destination races from across the country. And after the race, we take you on a tour of the best local food and beverage to celebrate. So whether you are an elite runner or a back of the packer like us, you'll know the best places to accomplish, explore, and indulge on your next runcation. Hey, welcome to episode 273, 273 of the Run, Eat, Drink podcast. I'm your host, Amy. And I'm your co-host, Dana. This is a very special episode, and I can't believe that we are less than a month away from one of our favorite race weekends of all time. Yeah, it's incredible to me how fast a year has gone. And how fast this month has gone, <laughs> let's just say. True. And we turned around, and all of a sudden, we're right back to getting ready for the Donna Marathon weekend, mm. 2024. And it's that time of year where we try to do what we can on our humble little podcast to mm -hmm. get the word out. And of course, this is a race that we talk about throughout the year because of it's course. one of our favorites. It's, yes. a, it's a perennial favorite here for the show. R regardless of where our travels may take us, we always find our way back to this one. We do. And I can't wait to get there this year because I missed it last year. Yes. You, well, you, you were taking care of your dad. Of course. And a different type of cancer, but cancer nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And we had to divide and conquer. And we did. And it looked like an amazing weekend. So I can't wait to make up for lost time with all of our running friends and giving friends and volunteers and seeing the neighborhoods again. And oh, yeah, it's just awesome. And you just hit on something, and that is our giving friends. And this week, we're going to be talking about items and th services and things mm. that have been given or, d nay, donated yes. to the cause so that we could have the second annual Run, Eat, Drink podcast auction mm. benefiting the Donna Marathon weekend and the Donna Foundation. Yes, we last year we had tremendous success thanks to the Runcation Nation. Several of our friends have donated items and we're going to talk about them today, but our auction is now live and for those of you that didn't participate last year, you should know that over on Facebook, we have a photo album. And there's a link to that photo album in our Instagram profile. We're putting it out all over social media. But when you go into that album, which is named the 2024 online auction for the Donna Foundation, we have almost 30 items, almost 30 items that we are auctioning off. And you can bid in the comments. And at the end of the auction, like we did last year, we closed the auction and we celebrated the winners and got the winners their auction items. 
Yes. And to be clear, we will not be taking any of the funds that that people no. are bidding. No. This is all based on you if you want to bid, you say what your bid is in the comment section mm-hmm. and then at the end we tell you go ahead and donate at our link. Here's the link in the comments. We do that. You go and you donate directly to the Donna Foundation. Mm-hmm. And once you've got your receipt, you message us that receipt that lets us know that you're, it's complete. And then we send you your item. Yeah. Your email, donation, your, you get notified about your donation or we will also see it Oh yeah. on our and get notified about it. So it's all good. There are backups to let us know mm-hmm. when that happens and we will ship you your item. Some of the people who have donated items will ship it to you themselves. Directly. And then some are online items that uh, or, or services that uh, you'll get information about how to redeem. Emailed to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So from us, we've got just a lot of really cool stuff to talk about and yeah. to describe for you to whet your appetite to mm-hmm. get your clicking fingers ready to click on donate for and sure get you bidding because this is such an amazing event it's an incredible foundation that does amazing things helping people mm-hmm. be able to afford their treatment for breast cancer you all have heard, if you've listened to the show for any length of time you know that i lost my mother to stage 4 metastatic breast cancer in 2016 and sadly one in eight women will be impacted mm. by breast cancer throughout their lives. Anything that we can do to help the Donna Foundation help people not have to choose between paying a bill mm. and getting life saving treatment, I think that it's the least that we can do. And also, the Donna Foundation partners with the Mayo Clinic up there in Jacksonville to. And part of their effort goes to the research, the groundbreaking and life-saving research at the Mayo Clinic that has supported successful treatments for breast cancer survivors. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to be talking about auction items related to the three topics that we tend to talk about most on the show, running, eating, and drinking. (laughs) Yes. Can we, there are a couple of shout outs that I would like to make. Sure. Before we start, I I just, of course, want to shout out everybody who donated to the auction, including very recently, uh, Judy Gerber. Judy Gerber has donated uh, an original work of art, actually. So cool. To... Our auction, and it is so perfect for us. For it is Florida, it is the ocean, it, it and there is a breast cancer logo uh, made out of ribbon. Yeah, like ribbon that is like a, flamingo. a bird. Yes. Yeah. And her quote on the piece of art is. Count your smiles instead of your tears. Count your courage instead of your fears. I love it. And then it says stand tall and it is the ocean and a palm tree and that breast cancer ribbon that is just so unique. And you're going to be able to see this in the, in the online auction. Mm -hmm. So, and bid on it. Yes. So we're very, very excited for that. Yeah. But thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you very much, Judy, for donating that. Uh, yeah. We're super excited to have that as part of the second annual Running Drink podcast auction benefiting the Donna Foundation. So. And you do know that one half of Team Noisy donated as well. I just want to say happy birthday to the other half of Team Noisy, which is Rudy Novani. Yeah, Rudy. R- Rudy, I or believe <laughs> he crossed uh, the 29 mark and maybe has a few years of practice. I think 29 looks good on Rudy. It does. Absolutely. Yeah. No, Rudy, happy birthday. And we're excited to have you, both you and Fitz as friends of the show. But happy birthday. Yeah, we got to get back to a Team Noisy race. Soon. Very soon. 
Absolutely. So. so shall we talk about the uh, incredible items that we have that are in what we call the run category? I guess. For, yes. For the online auction? Let's. I Yes, the run category. And I mentioned one of them right off. The fixing your life with fitness. That is the... She has donated two courses, two different auction items, and that is priceless information about fitness and health. Yes, we went through the course. We've taken it. We loved it. Mm -hmm. Fitz is dynamic. She's a lot of fun. She's real. So real. It's This is not some froofy hoo-ha oddball thing that's going to make you like like she says it's not snake oil it's not snake oil exactly yeah. no it's it's yeah. science-based down to earth mm -hmm. real life things that you can apply not only to your fitness journey but to your life in general yeah so we thank fitz kohler for donating not one but two that you can bid on very nice mm -hmm. Love that. Yeah. Now, to kick things off from us, we also have put together a little runny drink podcast swag bag. Yes. Thanks to our friends at Pure Creative Apparel, yes. Pam and Ariel Gonzalez. We have a, a, an adjustable koozie. We have coasters and a squoosh band with our logo, as well as a shirt of choice, actually. There are items that are that have already been made and are waiting to be a part of this swag bag for you. And then you can choose. You can choose, for example, the standard Run, Eat, Drink podcast performance shirt with our logo. Mm -hmm. Our original, our OG logo right. that has the wine glass. Or you could choose our Donna Marathon themed logo that is on black with pink and has the ribbon, the pink ribbon in place of the beverage. And they're all available at uh, purecreativeapparel.com. You can peruse and you can choose your size, your color. You could even get the one that says, I'm not slow on one on the front. And then on the back, I'm making the most of my race entry fee. You could get that one. So there are options. Yeah. So you've got that. This is, it's got a, it's, the koozie arguably is maybe not for the running portion. It's of for course. the drinking yeah. portion. Maybe yeah. you're going to wrap that around your recovery protein drink or uh, possibly, or your hydration. It's up to you. It's whatever you decide to use it on. Yeah. It's going to taste 17 to 22% better based on all of our research. So the scientists, at the run, eat, drink podcast labs. towers, labs, mm -hmm. That are in the towers. <laughs> you know what I mean? The huge staff we have. It's incredible. Unbelievable. We're very excited for that. And yeah. I think that you guys are going to like that swag bag. But then we are, yeah, we got into running thanks to, in no small part, to our friend, America's coach and our coach, Jeff Galloway. Exactly. And Love Jeff man. has been very generous, generous, I would say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you've got options here. There are several auction items that Jeff has donated and Galloway Productions just as a whole. Is at the, one of them is an autographed copy of the most recent Galloway's book on running. That's the, I, the third edition, I Great believe. Great book. Great. And if you're going to get into the Galloway method, that's one you that's a must have in your library. Yes. There is also an entry to the Jeff Galloway race weekend. Yes. And that is coming up here very soon. And March. So St. timely. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day. You could do a you could do the you can do any event there, but he's donated an entry to his race weekend. So that's fantastic. But you know what? I think uh, hmm. the next one is going to be the 
I think this is going to be the one that knocks people's socks off. Yeah. You can bid on a 30 minute one on one consultation with the man himself. I think Jojo got this one last year. What a great prize or mm-hmm. item to, to bid on. You just walk away from any interaction. If it's 10 minutes at an expo before you head out to go get your carb loading meal and do your race the next day, it's he, he just leaves you inspired and motivated. And just like the name of his podcast, you can do it. Yeah, absolutely. It That's the way you feel. And I think this... And getting, just getting to have that level of knowledge and expertise, having that an Olympian coach give you 30 minutes of uninterrupted time that's just for you. Decades of research and proven run, walk, run advice. Yeah. That one I think is going to be the a, a huge hit. So. Yes, but also... We've had his chief training officer, Chris Twiggs, on the show. We have. And this year, this is new. This year, Jeff has donated a customized training opportunity from the end of the auction through April. That's fantastic. Chris is also incredibly dynamic. One of the nicest guys you'd ever meet. Yes. He has so much knowledge. And he is always super quick to drop information in the Runcation Nation Facebook group about the pacing groups at the various races mm-hmm. that they're going to be at and so that, we're, good. that we often are at. And it's just, he's a wealth of knowledge as well. He's quick to answer questions like, I was looking at his responses the other day where somebody had asked, what if a pace group is doing a different interval? What do you do? If It's just, he's a wealth of knowledge. And I do think that you feel support from the run, walk, run community when you're in the customized training sessions because they have Zoom meetings. Yes. Yeah. Where you can see and get here's what I tried based on the training plan or here's what I'm doing with mine. And I just other runners are great people who when something doesn't work, they'll let you know to avoid it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Or if something really works, they are more than willing to share the wealth of knowledge for Mm -hmm. you to try. Absolutely. A strategy. So that is available for bid in addition to the 30 minute one on one with Jeff. Mm-hmm. So that is Isn't two that separate great? items. Isn't yeah. it great? Yeah. yeah. I love it. Jeff, thank you yes. so much for the, those donations and oh. those items. Those are four really amazing items the autographed copy of his book, the consultation, an entry to his race. And a customized training plan uh, with Coach Twigs. You can bid on those four items mm-hmm. today, but that's not even remotely close to all that we have because we also have some other books that we, that people may have heard of. We do, and I do want a copy. Want to say this is just amazing. The donations of the books, the stories that can inspire you, the wealth of knowledge contained in these books and inspiration in these books. Just fantastic. Bart Yasso has a couple of books in our auction. He has his runner's world book and he also has his, uh, my life on the run that, and he is going to autograph and ship those to the winners. Very nice. Personally. Yeah. Very nice. We also, Happened to have had the opportunity to interview someone who's a big deal in in the world of running, kind of a big deal in the world of women's running. Yeah. And I know who she is. (laughs) You do. Um, And and I'm talking about Catherine Switzer. That was a joke. I, yes, I was because you tease me about when I get into my fangirling mode whenever I run into amazing people like Catherine Switzer, whose book Marathon Woman 
will be up for auction. Not one copy, but two. And you can bid on you can bid on one or you can bid on both. Yeah. There there could be some strategy in this auction. There could people. be. I'm not I'm I, just saying. I foresee some people sneaking there at the end and trying to jump in for sure. Right at the end of the auction. We also have four copies in the auction of Roger Robinson's book, Spirit of the Marathon. The second Spirit of the Marathon documentary mm -hmm. that chronicles the the marathon and follows a different people in their journey of training and preparation and then executing the actual completion of a marathon it is yeah i loved that documentary i keep wanting to say a movie because it was just mm -hmm. such a story Really and good. you do get invested in those people, but this is all the background and knowledge and and wealth of information. You just it's it's fantastic. <laughs> I it really is. It makes you want to go overseas and run a marathon. So that's uh, and this book is going to be just a wealth of history and information for you. And we have four copies we do. for people to bid on. So, you know, plenty of opportunities to, to bid there. We also have another returning friend of the show, Dave McGilvery. Oh, yes. We've got Dave McGilvery's last pick and books for kids, including Running Across America, Dream Big and Finish Strong. Yes, I just... His books, the last pick was just so inspiring. You think you have one dream, like he talks about in this book, the last pick, and you have one dream and you have obstacles in your path. And what do you do about those obstacles? Right. He is the world's first charity runner from what we know. And... It just chronicles his never give up kind of philosophy and you keep pushing and you find a way no matter what obstacles are in your path or how long it takes or if you have to try and then try again. It's I yes, <laughs> <laughs> I love the book I, I and the children's books are fantastic, too. And we're going to try not to bid on it ourselves. Very. It's, it's difficult. They're <laughs> autographed. <laughs> Yep, that's I, I forgot to mention that. They're autographs. Autograph, think about that. Mm -hmm. Get bidding. Shall we talk about a food-related item? Oh, I think we should. Okay. I think we should, yeah. Because I'm literally just coming off of, of going to the gym. <laughs> I'm, I'm back doing uh, resistance training, uh, really in earnest. I'm trying to, to get a little more balance in my workouts, and I'm starving. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. And our friends and patrons of the show, yes, Nice Guys Pizza, oh. here in Cape Coral, Florida. You guys have heard us talk about You them know how before. we love them. Um, nice Guys Pizza is a little bit punk rock, a little bit classic Italian, and then just a whole lot of artistry thrown in. They make some of the most incredible food. Oh. And it's not just their pizza, although their pizzas are wonderful. And they do pizzas. They do some things that are, are traditional. And yes. they do some things that are as far from traditional as you could possibly get. And I'll just call your attention to one that's on their menu called the Washington Carver. I love that one. The base of the pizza is they have a wonderful crust. I love their crust. Mm. Perfect blend of chewy and crispy. Mm -hmm. The base of the pizza is peanut butter. Yes. Oh. Okay. That's and the sauce. And people think that's weird. I know. But it's not. It, it, it works. It totally sounds weird, and I get why. I oh. get why people say that. But you essentially are mixing the best elements of peanut butter and jelly. Because yeah. you also get this berry reduction mm. that they drizzle the pizza with, a little bit of white cheese, and mm. jalapeno. The jalapeno, I think, m makes it for me because it, it will accentuate. Well, they haven't really gotten a hold of super hot jalapenos. No. 
No, but a little, it gives you a little tingle. But just a little tingle. Just a little. And it's not like it's covered in jalapeno. Oh, no, no, It's no, like no. there are three or four jalapenos and you could cut those up and. Yeah. Or you can ask for more. Or, or you, you can, can ask, ask them to leave them off. Or, yeah, it doesn't matter. They do other things too. One of our other favorites oh, is the truffle shuffle, which is, one. again, a white pizza, a little bit of truffle oil. It's got uh, red onions and criminy mushrooms. You the fried sage does it for me with that one. French fried sage on, on that pizza. And you can ask them to add a little bit of prosciutto. That's our favorite. Which is amazing. To do in terms of if you're going to add meat to it. They also have some of the best chicken wings that you will find in South oh. Florida. We are huge fans of their wings. They have garlic knots that are to die for, and their craft cocktail game is out of this world. But one of the things that I love about them is that they have a limited release every year of shirts. Yeah. And <laughs> every single, I, I looked in my drawer today, every single black t-shirt that i own like cotton t-shirt cotton t-shirt yeah. not counting my race tees right. or my shirts i wear under my like, vest at work okay every single black cotton t-shirt that i own is a nice guy's pizza t-shirt and i have an entire row of them in my drawer there there is the original there's the one that was through the pandemic that was creative mm -hmm. hurricane ian one they, they do special shirts every now and then to commemorate special events i they, really wanted the holiday one when they did the whole holiday photo shoot and they had their cocktails in shutterfly photo, photo album, album as the menu yeah oh Allegedly, they've saved us one of those. I can't. I wait to certainly see that. hope so. But our friends at Nice Guys Pizza have been kind enough to donate a gift card yes. and a T-shirt, and it's a hundred dollar gift card, y'all. That's fantastic. We really think that if you are going to be in the Southwest Florida area, come see this us. This is a no-brainer. Grab this because you're going. This is one of those must go places. We're not just saying that because they're patrons of the show. We are literally customers one and two mm -hmm. at the restaurant. Yeah. They've, and they happen to be great people and great friends and oh, supporters of the show. Greg and Yovana, we can't Jamie, the whole team. Tieran, Yes. James, eh, all of them. Trumpy. Everybody. <laughs> yes. We, Haley, I can't, I, we could go on and on. We just thank you for your generous donation. And I think it is a hot item to bid on. Oh, absolutely. And so we've talked about running. We've talked about eating. We're about to head into the drink segment of the show. I want to start Indeed. off uh, by highlighting our friends at Magic Mind. We've had them on as sponsors here for the last several weeks. Mm -hmm. We talked with uh, James Bashara and the team at Magic Mind, and they said, we'll donate. And they have donated a 15-bottle pack of Magic Mind mm. for the auction. I appreciate it so much because I think everybody in the Runcation Nation should benefit from this little green productivity shot. And I think that some of the members of the Runcation Nation have actually tried it or have it on the way to try it. I want to say that Josh Osborne, our uh, executive producer in charge of hashtags mm -hmm. and hot sauces, is trying it right now. Yes. Or will be starting very soon. I'll be curious to hear his review. Mm -hmm. Because I start, I get up pretty early and I start with my morning coffee first because you can totally do that. This little productivity shot. It's not like... You have to choose between coffee, which we love. Of course. And Magic Mind. You don't. No, they're complimentary. And I've been using it in not in place of coffee, but not no. wanting to drink coffee very late in the day. So when I'm looking for that pick-me-up and something to help keep me focused, mm. I, Magic Mind for me as something to enjoy late in the afternoon that has been the way that I've elected to use it. And it's fantastic. It doesn't impact your sleep. I start with the coffee and then I have the magic mind later on in the morning, right before I clock into work. And I feel like it extends my level of focus, especially in the afternoon that sometimes people call it the post run, the post lunch slump. Oh, that's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. So every time I have to do a presentation like or 
was teaching back when I was doing more instruction, mm. I was always the person that went after lunch and I get to, to have the benefit of trying to wake everybody up from their post lunch slump. Imagine if they all had magic mind. That would have been helpful. And it's also great to know that the matcha in the tiny little bottle, it's just one, it's just a productivity shot. It's not um, something that's thick and will sit in your stomach or just, it's got matcha. It has ingredients that all work together to prevent a spike in cortisol, which is the stress, stress hormone. hormone. Absolutely. I love the fact also that you've got the lion's mane mushroom in it, and that helps mm. with things like inflammation, something that many of us runners <laughs> are very familiar with. For and sure. For those of us that are getting back into the gym and doing some doing weight, some weight training, mm -hmm. the inflammation is real. Mm. <laughs> so having a little something that can help with that is chef's kiss. Perfect. <laughs> It's been really good for me and for you in so many ways. And I just, the energy, the focus, everything that we've talked about, Runcation Nation, we recommend that you try it. And you can get right now in the month of January, you can get one month for free when you sign up for a three-month subscription. This month only. And even more than that, there will be a portion of the purchase that will benefit the Donna Foundation this month. Mm -hmm. So do us a favor, go over to magicmind.com slash J-A-N run, eat, drink. That's J-A-N run, eat, drink. And then use the code run, eat, drink 20. You can get 56% off your first subscription. Or if you're just going to do a one-time purchase, 20% off with code run, eat, drink 20. That's magicmind.com slash Jan run, eat, drink to try it out today. And remember it's run, eat, drink 20. And really thank you to everyone at Magic Mind for sponsoring this week's show. And for donating to our auction, benefiting the Donna Foundation. Yay. All right. So let's talk drink, drinking and or drinking related items that we will see in, yeah. in this auction. Can we, we have just can we go back to what you said for a moment? I would just like to go back to what you said for a moment about Nice Guys Pizza. Well, I said a lot about Nice Guys Pizza. About their craft cocktail game. Oh, yes. Because it is the drink portion of our show now. Yes. And you mentioned it. It's a hundred dollar gift card that they've donated. Yeah. That can be used for the purchase of said craft cocktails. And they do. They they do a very frequent rotating list of craft cocktails. Which we've talked about on the show before. Yeah, they experiment, they try new things, they find recipes that they like, they'll they'll refine them over over the years. Mm. And then they'll become staples. And then some they just try for a month and then it's gone. And for the you, holidays. You may, you may not ever see it again. Yeah. But they do have amazing cocktails. One of my favorites, regardless of which one, they have their version of a smoked old fashioned called a pendennis. Yum. They have the regular pendennis. They do a winter pendennis. They do a holiday. A fall one. Yeah. They do a fall pendennis yeah. as well. They're all fantastic. They're just small mm. riffs on the same thing. If you like bourbon. They also, that's the one that is the one <laughs> they also do an amazing variety of tiki and tiki adjacent drinks. Yes. I love the vampire margarita, the pink, the pinkish color. Yes. And they the use black salt, blood orange and black salt. It's yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. really neat. They also do uh, a one that's this really tropical flavored drink. It's got a cool, um, the, the, it's got a cool conceit to it because it's called, Goth kids on vacation, I think. Ooh. And the drink is Ooh. colored black with activated charcoal. You wouldn't know it's in there. You can't taste it. Mm. But it tastes like a coconutty, beachy drink, but mm. it looks just dark, dark black. It's hilarious. So they have a lot of fun with their cocktail menu. Mm -hmm. and it's just a, a neat place. So... I'm glad you brought them back up and, and made mention of this. But you can also, they have a full bar. So it's like, if you just want, I don't know. They have 10, ro 10 or 15 rotating taps as well. Oh, for beer. For beer. Yeah. And it's a combination of both local 
and ones from outside the area that we have seen. Yes. Which I love. They also do housemade gin and tonic. Oh, yeah. Be remiss if we didn't mention that. I mean, you can get, I mean, if you just want, hey, vodka soda, oh, yeah, they will got do that. it. Sure. They'll do it. But they, but if you're there, you've got to try some of these things that they're doing. They're just, again, can't Butter say enough beer. good about them. <laughs> Butter beer. Can you, if you're a Harry Potter fan. A grown-up Harry Potter fan. Yeah, yes. Let's be clear that yes. this one's not for the kids. But if you ask, you can also get some pretty creative mocktails. Oh, yeah. If you just ask, their bartending staff. Mm. Artists. Artists, yes. So you can do that, too. And we did just mention it at the break in the show. We did. We have a 15-bottle pack of Magic Mind from our sponsor, They were kind enough to donate that. Please bid on that. That Mm -hmm. is going to be, if you're wanting to test the waters, maybe you don't want to commit. Maybe you have commitment issues and you just want to try it one time. Bidding on it in our auction would be a great way to just try it. And then once you do, it's very easy to get more just by going to magicmind.com slash J-A-N run, eat, drink using offer code run, eat, drink 20. Yes. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. It's easy. Super so easy. You can bid on it, and that is a nice little item that can increase your productivity. Your what it, is it a flow state? Yeah, flow state, your focus, and then generally just make you feel better. Yeah. So get in that flow state. I'm also super excited about our oh. our final drink item, I think. Yes. And this is another friend of the show and uh, mm. a, a brewery here in Southwest Florida that we have talked about uh, several times because we love what they do. And uh, the owner, proprietor, Alex Tatko, uh-huh. um, once he heard about this, he was more than thrilled to Jump back in and yes. uh, donate again for the second year in a row. He sent me home with so many things. There are. Uh, I, and, how, and where's I, this I, from? I, this is from Coastal Days Brewery in Fort Myers. We have talked about their beer on our show. Or please. We've had it on many of our live streams. We've had it on our live streams. I really want him to bring back that orange, cranberry orange beer for Thanksgiving. Not from this past year, but the year before. Mm -hmm. Mm, Just saying. But I digress. There's a tap at Tuesday every Tuesday. Yeah, he does. Always just, innovating. It's a one-off. He's experimenting. He's playing with flavors. He's mm. playing with processes. And they do just amazing beer there. So he sent me on my way with sticker packs and with pint glasses, both holiday-themed and not, so you could stock up for your holiday season next year. Mm-hmm. And from their anniversary celebrations, there are these teeny, almost shot glasses that look like a pint glass. Yeah. And they're so cute. They are adorable. They're yeah. cute. We don't even have those. I feel like we should bid now. <laughs> I feel like we should bid now, but he also contributed a $28 gift card. Very nice. Yes. You could get it. There are several different combinations. One of the auction items includes the gift card. And then there are other combinations that have the glassware and the stickers Mm -hmm. that we can ship to anybody Yeah, in the United States. Absolutely. Yeah. Coastal Days Brewery, Mm. glassware, stickers, and gift card. There are several options for you. Mm -hmm. Take your pick. Yeah. Bidding is open now. We are incredibly excited about everyone who donated auction items Please don't forget to bid on, I'm going to say all of them, but especially the ones that you love to help support the Donna Foundation. Yes. So if you head over to our, we will put a link in the show notes Mm -hmm. to the album of that shows all the, the photos. There is a description, a caption, and in the comments, if you bid and somebody outbids you, just bid again. 
And if you have a question about something, feel free to ask right there as well. But, oh, yeah. But I think it's all pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So if all proceeds will go to the Donna Foundation. 100% of the proceeds. It's, yeah. we When we ship anything to you that needs to be shipped, like the glassware from Coastal Days or the, we pay for the shipping to get it to you, a lot of people who have donated to our auction they have volunteered to absorb the shipping costs. Like Bart is going to, Bart Yasso, the mayor of running, mm -hmm. is going to autograph and pay for the shipping to you. So I'm just saying it's an amazing array of auction items that you can bid on. And we're going to hold this auction for what the, yeah, through the end of the month, right before we head to the Donna Marathon weekends. The auction will end on Wednesday, January 31st. And then we head to the Donna the next day. That's it. So we're going to go right up to the very last minute, trying to raise as much money as we possibly can for the Donna Foundation. Mm -hmm. So please open your hearts, open your wallets, and get to bidding to support the Donna Foundation yes. and those who are battling breast cancer, their families, as well as the cutting edge research to finish this terrible disease. How do you bid? Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Go over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash run, eat, drink podcast. There you're going to find the album that's mm -hmm. labeled Donna Mar or um, Donna Marathon Weekend Auction. Mm-hmm. It it is a featured post at the top of our page. Oh, there you go. Also, We've, so it's easier to get there. Much easier. So you just comment on the photos to bid and give your amount. Mm -hmm. And uh, if someone outbids you, guess what? Bid again. Do it again. It's okay. And uh, we're, we we totally will allow that. Yes. <laughs> um, once we get the confirmation that you have. Uh, once we close the auction, we will get the confirmation that you have donated mm -hmm. and then we will get your items shipped out to you. Yes. And we will celebrate all of you that donated to those auction items that bid on those auction items. Yes. To all the businesses and individuals who donated. Thank you so much. And we can't say enough about your support. And hey. That's a wrap. That's going to do it for this week's show. We thank you all for joining us. We are going to be so excited to see those bids coming in yes. over on our Facebook page in support of the Donna Foundation. Uh, you can donate directly to our fundraising page. Link is in the show notes. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. Whether it's your long run, your short run, around the house, or wherever you are. Like bidding on auction items. Exactly. I'm your host, Amy. And I'm your co-host, Dana. Stay safe and well, and we will accomplish, explore, and indulge with you really soon. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of the Run, Eat, Drink podcast. We're having another great year thanks to your support. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're at Run, Eat, Drink podcast. And on Twitter, we're Run, Eat, Drink pod. You can also give us a call at 941 Six seven seven two seven three three, or send us an email at info at runeatdrink.net. Visit our website at runeatdrink.net and click on the subscribe link so you don't miss a minute. Find out how you can support the show at patreon.com slash runeatdrinkpodcast. Accomplish, explore, and indulge right along with us. We'll talk to you next time.